bing bong, it's multiplier here. And as you can see, there are now three layers at the back of the studio, three different levels. Crikey, that's outrageous. I'm just experimenting, having a play around, figuring out what I like, what I don't like, and then I build something more permanent. I basically did the same thing as I did for a previous video as a temporary structure. You can see, for example, these little clamp dudes, if I sort of get the focus right, all very temporary, trying to figure out, well, basically, do, do I like this position or do I not like this position? And then I build something more permanent. And whilst doing this, I stumbled into something very interesting that I don't think too many people know about, but it's very important to know. It's one of those things, once you know it, your life is just better because then you can solve problems using it. And this problem in particular uh, arose when I tried to plug in the power cable for the top guy, the Pioneer Torres TP, the SP, I, I can't remember the exact name, SP16, I think. Let's, let's, let's have a look. What is it called? It's called the SP16. I know it, the Torres. I went focused the wrong way. The Torres SP16. And basically, when I plugged in the power cable, oh, I'll probably get the focus right in the end. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional, as, as you can see. So when I plugged in the power cable, the big heavy bit, you know how power cables, they have the plug and then the cable and then the big heavy bit and then a cable and then the other plug. Uh, so the big bit in the middle, the heavy bit, is the transformer. It transforms the, the electrical juice coming out of the wall into an electrical juice that the, the gear likes. But you go from AC to DC and a whole bunch of voltagey things and stuff. Anyway, that bit is very heavy and if I get the focus right so that bit is very heavy as I'm sure you figured out just by playing with the gear yourself and when I plugged in the power cable at the top that heavy bit was in the air it, it, because of the length it's really high off the ground and therefore the heavy bit was pulling on the power cable ripping it out I mean I, I was careful I didn't actually let it do that but that's what would have happened it would have had all this weight pulling on the power cable imagine so using imagination imagine plugging in the power cable for the very top one. It's about a head height, roughly, depending on how tall you are. And therefore, imagine plugging in the power cable and then having this big, heavy weight pulling it down. That's going to be bad for the power supply socket thing, obviously, because the power supply socket isn't designed to have something pulling on it at all, at any direction at all. I mean, there's just no good direction to pull on the power cable once it's plugged into the hole. Always be careful when pulling on things plugged into a hole. That was a, 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 a funny multiplier joke. Anyway, so let, let's get to the actual idea idea behind this video, that little thing, I'd probably put it in a thumbnail, what does this do? And it actually solves this exact problem. To do this, I'm going to have to rearrange things because I, I can't quite show you when it's up there. So I'm going to swap the Pioneer thing with the, the Tractor S4 down here so I can show you what's going on. Bing bong, I'm back. And now I have the Pioneer thing down low so I can show you. And I lost track of where my arm was there, the, the power cable thing here. So this is the heavy bit I was talking about, uh, that big, that big, there you go. See how there's a plug, but there's in between the plug and the bit that goes into the, the gear, there's this heavy thing. Now, in this case, it's not actually as heavy as some of the other devices, but it's still heavy, and I don't want that pulling on the power the power cable socket thing. So what we have is, let's, I, 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 I believe in me. So if I get close and maybe find a good angle, you can see right next to the power, oh, I'm useless at this, right next to the power supply hole, there's this little thing that looks like a plastic hammerhead shark. Not that much like a hammerhead shark. That's probably got a technical name. I'm not sure what the technical name is, but we're going to call it the thing. So right next to the power supply, you can see DC in. There's a thing and it's really, uh, I lose track of where my arms are. It's really solid. It's really secure. It's actually bolted to the frame and that's for a reason. So what you do is if you're worried about something pulling on the power supply cable, it could be say because it's really up high, like in my case, or it could just be because maybe you have a rogue uh, sort of person running about the studio or a wild animal that may run into the power cable, pull and then yank on the power cable because the wild animal runs into it. Oh, that'd be a disaster. And so what you want to do is basically secure the power cable using this thing. So let me do that and then all will make sense. In fact, let me just get a few more close-up angles in case you're not that familiar with what these things look like. Uh, they come in different styles, but they're all basically the same, ooh, 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 the same sort of idea. It's just a little type plastic thing, super secure sometimes mostly metal. And when you just touch it, you can see, you can feel it's bolted to the, the main frame on the device itself. So if I go around, oh, I kind of like, 
Yeah. I've gone in close. I've gone in close. Ah, my arm hurts. Ah, my arm hurts. Different angle up here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Pioneer DJ. Ooh, I don't even know if I'm going to use any of this. Bing bong, I'm back. So I did it. And as you can see, it's all... It's all in there. That's what she said. So, uh, maybe this angle is really quite difficult. Uh, it's all kind of in the way, but maybe you get the idea without me having to change angle. I don't know. So you sort of wrap the power supply cable thing through the security thing that looks a bit like, but not really like a hammerhead shark. And then therefore, if you imagine pulling on the cable, then all the pull energy vibe gets pulled on the secure thing, not on the actual power the plug hole thing. You pull on it and then it pulls on the, the thing you've just thinged it to. It's probably a technical word, like wrapped it around, and then not the power supply thing. Oh, I got a text message. Fantastic. So that's the way to do it. I mean, I'm going to find a different angle. Oh, I don't know if there's a my back hurts. Oh, I bumped into the thing. Oh, this is it's very stressful. Oh, I've got another text message. Ah, oh, people. Um, okay, so it's probably, I don't know if there's an official way to wrap the power cable thing round, but I went like this because presumably I'm going to pull down and therefore I went up and then around, but you can just freestyle that. Uh, the important thing is just to give it a bit of a yank and just see if it feels like it's pulling on that, not on that. Does that, does that make sense? It's an important concept, one of those little things in life that you just don't know about until someone points it out or you read it in a manual or something. Um, oh, my back, ow, oh, I'm going to get down low. Ooh. Oh, you're useless. Oh, I'm useless at this. That angle's no better, is it? Oh, is that angle better? I don't know. I can't see anything now. Oh, this is pure chaos. This the it's all in the way. Maybe I should spin around. Um, one sec. Oof. Oof. Okay. So oof. Um, is that angle better? Ugh, I can't even tell. Oh, I can't even see. Oh, this is complete chaos. I think, you get, I think you get the idea though. It's all about just wrapping the power cable around that little dude. And then all will be, we'll be good in the world. All will be good in the world. If in doubt, just give it a small yank, make sure it's not pulling on that. And it's pulling on that. <sighs> Knowledge, power, opportunity. Just a thought for your brains. Oh, we've got another text message. It's, it's text message city right now. Wow, that's all very, very bright out the window. Look at that. Wowzers trousers. Catch you guys in the flippity flip. This video is sponsored by me, my website. As you can see here, I have a whole range of things available from serum presets through to serum tools, samples, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Do check it out. Link below, multiplymusic.com and or subscribe. Thanks for watching.